Hey guys, welcome back, Lisanya. As we know, the lithium ion phosphate battery have a lower temperature performance. If the battery stand in a long time at the lower temperature, it not only to decrease the capacity, but also will decrease the cycle life, and it also will have a risk of the short circuit during the long time. In that situation, we will suggest the customer to build the heating pad on the battery on the battery pack. So this video we will show you guys how to assemble the heating pad with the with our DIY battery kit for the details. Okay, uh, if you want to know more how to assemble it, let's go to see the details. Okay, here is our semi-assembled uh, battery pack. Uh, you can have a look of it. Uh, it already installed the wire and the front panel and the PCB. Let's to see how it work with the heating pad. Well, this time we will use the Hyson 280 amp hour, which is the brand new Gray A, Gray A, with the 10,000 lives to do the assemble. Let's to see the details. Okay, you can see we already tear off the front panel. Next step is to tear off the PCB wire. This step is to tear off the PCB frame. Here is the accessory with the semi assembled DIY box, epoxy board, the screws and nuts, spare parts, DVA foam. Okay. The next step we need to tear off the middle panel. Before we we tear the middle panel, we need to tear off the, the BMS. The BMS should be tear off because they have uh, uh, screws to lock the middle frame to the, to the case middle frame. They have a screws here, so we need, to, we need to tear off the BMS of the middle panel. We have the screw at the middle panel to lock with the frame, which is to compress the battery. The battery. Okay, we will start our assemble. First, we need to check each of cells voltage to each of the cell to make each cell is balanced well. This time we use is the 10,000 cycle life of Hyson 280 amp hour to make the 15 kilowatt hour. That's to start our assemble. Now we need to put the epoxy board in the case, and the next step is to put the heating pad. You can see the heating pad upon the epoxy board. Okay, here you have the details of it. Then to put each of the other epoxy board. To make the is isolation. The heating pad we use is the 51.2 voltage and 100 watt. Okay, now we need to put the cell inside the case. And uh, please make sure if you start from this side, here is the positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, and the final should be the negative. Put the cell each one by each one in faster speed. Let's go. Ok, 
then now we already put the heating pad uh, under the battery cell. The, the, the final is epoxy board, heating pad, battery cell, and with the wire out. And next step, let's to, uh, put the middle panel to install the middle panel. The middle panel, the middle panel function is to compress the battery cell. If you consider there have the gap, then you need to uh, put the epoxy board and uh, the EVA foam to fulfill the case to make sure there is no any gap between the uh, between between the middle panel with the battery cells. Firstly, we need to tear off the cover of the wire, you know. Uh, you can have a detailed look, they have a cover here. Then you should tear off it with your uh, tool, with your hand tool. You can see, yes. So you can see they have four wires and four wires to t to tear off the cover like this way. Okay, let's to see the next step. The next step is to take off one wire from left and another wire from the right to combine this two wire. And the next one is to combine this wire to make the set uh, to make the power to make the power of the heating pad like this way. Okay, then, then this is the final. Just check it. This one, this way, and another one in this way. Another one in this way. JKBMS all have this green and uh, red black wire. This wire is for the heating pad. The next step is to connect uh, this heating pad wire with the, with the heating pad wire. Please cut down the cut down the green wire, and uh, to make the steep like the previous. Here to connect the heating pad to wire with the green wire, the green wire, the BMS green wire, and uh, use the use the tape, use the tape to connect them together. Please use the insulation tape. This two wire is no use. The black and the red wire is no use. You can do the process like the sample shoes. Yeah. Okay, we already we already finished this side. Uh, actually, this side is to connect the BMS, and uh, the next two wire. We need to connect to the battery. The next uh, two wires you need to make like this way to combine them together and make a round circle because the next step we need to put another side with the battery and uh, the other two wires is to connect with the, with the JKBMS. Okay, you can see our some assemble here with the flexible bus bar. It is totally brand new gray A. Now we only support is the gray A cell from the big brand like the CATL, EV, Hyson. Please use the gray A battery cell to make the battery pack. Then you can achieve the uh, 8,000 cycle life or 10,000 cycle lives. If you use the grade B, we cannot sure the cycle life can be 
same as the specification shoes. When you lock the battery screws, please make sure each of the stator is locked well because if you didn't lock tight enough, there will have the voltage difference problems. The black wire is the NTC thermal wire, which to uh, detect the temperature. They have the four black wire, so they have the four point to detect the temperature of the battery pack. Uh, when your battery has low temperature issues, then the battery will start to heating. Okay, for the next step, we need to install the JKBMS into the into the case. You can have a detailed look of how to install. Actually, it is a uh, uh, very easy steps. Now the next step is to add to put the heating pad while one is with one is to connect with the battery and another one is to connect to the JKBMS. Let's to see how to work for it. Here is the heating and uh, the better is to make the insulation of another side. We know it, this side is no use, but you need to make the insulation every part. Please take each of the step to make sure the battery pack won't have the short circuit risk. Okay, so you can see the details. The black one is to, is, this is no use, and the green wire is connected to the uh, heating pad wire. And let's to see the next uh, of next two wires. This is the positive. This is the positive, and uh, this one is power of the JKBMS power bat wire. Yeah, power wire and also the bat wire and then the next step is to lock another another side wire of the of the heating pad okay and to lock the screws when you assemble in this stick uh, it is very important for the A board. You can see this PCB A board. You must to connect with the PCB wire is with the with the one NTC one and NTC two, and for the B board is with the NTC three and the NTC four wire. This is very important because if you contact in a wrong way, you will uh, burn out the JKBMS. Okay, then let's to see how it is. How it is. We need to open the JKBMS. Find the find the BMS and to see to use the password one two three four five and to choose the lift pole and to ch change the capacity to two hundred eighty amp hour. Then you can see the capacity is at sixty. 5% then it is correct. Uh, for this alert, they have alert here that, that is because you didn't change the key. Okay, next step is how to work with the JK app. Uh, please uh, open the JK app and choose, choose the JK BMS and here is the control of BMS. Ver verified the password is 1234567. And uh, here is the heating. You can see this point heating. Please to open here, and uh, then it then the whole the, the JKBMS is work with the heating function. The next step we need to check the heating. Change these two two data here. You can setting zero minor five degree, which means when the 
NTC, they have four NTC to detect the battery pack is under the minor five degree. Then the battery pack will start to heating. Then it will stop at zero degree temperature. This is the setting. For example, if you want to set in another way, for example, if you set your battery when they, the NTC in, uh, detected the temperature at five degree, then it will start to heating. So you can set the five degree start heating and the 10 degree stop the heating. You can change these two uh, data by your own. Okay, that is the, all the step of the assemble of heating pads step by step. Hope you guys can learn from it. If you still have problem, please contact with our sales to get the more detailed specification. Okay, for this 15 kilowatt hour battery pack is made by the 10,000 cycle life of Hisense 280 ampere hour and which build with the heating pad. If you guys want to know details about the 15 kilowatt hour of the of the stockable one with the DIY kids. Now they also have the promotion price at the 990 USD dollar with the semi assembled, which is very easy for you guys to assemble. So if you want to know more details about it, please leave us a message and see you next video. Bye bye.